This is the largest island on the archipelago. People come here all over the world to experience nice beaches, to enjoy the stranded landscapes, to have a good hiking and to experience great diving spots. This place is a hidden gem of the province. It sits right here in northern Palawan, a third municipal income class called Buswanga. For many years, it was regarded as the largest island in a single municipality, but on June 17, 1950, it was officially created as a separate municipality from Koron, and both of them regarded by many as the last paradise. More than 300 years before the conversion of Buswanga into municipality in 1951, the name Buswanga was already attributed to the island itself. The name is ascribed to that of Vigo River, the largest municipality with an average width of 100 meters. However, the length is unknown, known by the natives after the great calamitous of evil in nature, handed down then by word of mouth to be a legend. As early as 9th century AD, Chinese traders were known to transact business with the natives of the coastal regions of Calamianes and referred to some places as Palauyu, Kiamayan, and Pakinu, meaning Palawan, Calamian, and Boswanga respectively. This is a story featuring a place to make itself known on the map, one of the hidden gems of the country today. It's a story featuring a municipality that many haven't known. The history of Buswanga could well be said to date back as early as 3000 BC, at a time a group of nomadic people were known to make such waves of immigration by way of land bridges from mainland Asia, some of which lagged and drifted along the Philippine archipelago. Much later, the Malayans and Indonesians followed. For some thousands of years, they explored, discovered, utilized, and finally spread and populated the Philippine island presumably including the island of Buswanga. According to some oral tradition, the entire island of Buswanga was once the realm of Makayunun Datu named Datu Makanas. The island was once part of the four jurisdiction of Kuyunun Datus with the other three being Datu Magbanwa, who reigned over Kuyu Archipelago, Datu Kabailoho at Taytay and surrounding islands, and Datu Kabangon, reigning over Paragua Island, south of Taytay. Today, Tagbanma tribes or people of the world was known to be the inhabitants of this piece of land together with Palawan major tribes, Kuyunon, Agotainen, and Cagayanin. And this 392.90 square kilometer of land is politically divided into 17 barangays. And as of 2015, Buswanga has a population of 22,046 people. Whenever Palawan is mentioned, the first thing that comes to people's minds are the majestic sceneries that are found in the island. That was recently proclaimed as the most beautiful island in the world for the second time, and Buswanga makes up some of its tourist spots. However, Buswanga is more than just crystal clear waters and white sand beaches. Buswanga's culture is very fascinating. Its unique cultural heritage consisting of a blend of tribal traditions and Spanish culture elements because of the arrival of Spaniards. 